hello everyone this is Sam in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create a digital clock using HTML and JavaScript okay so now I'm opening my text editor I'm using sublime let me name it as digital clock.html okay creating a new folder in, in the desktop okay now I'm saving it this is the doc type for any HTML5 file let me define the 8th part of the HTML element so my title is JS digital clock okay and I'm going to define the body and see the body I'm going to create a div element and the ID is my clock display okay so after this I'm going to add my script so actually this is going to show the time so let me define a function called show time and uh, I am defining a date okay I am creating a date object so by using this object we can get hours, minutes and seconds okay so r equal to date dot get hours get minutes Get seconds okay so this method will return 0 to 23 so this will return 0 to 59 this this also will return 0 to 59 okay so it's a 24 hour clock let me create a variable time or a colon m a colon seconds okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this value to this particular div okay so I'm copying this name and document dot get get element by ID and in the text equal to time Now I am copying this line and pasting down here and going to change uh, in the text into text content. Okay. So why I am doing this is uh, in the text in the text will not work in Firefox and uh, text content will not work in IE. So to support the cross browsers, I am adding these two lines okay now I'm going to open this page in my Chrome browser okay okay nothing is showing okay let me find out okay we missed to call the function okay so show time so now check it okay it's showing the time so there are actually three problems one is this uh, minutes uh, hour and minute value are showing in a single digit so if it is a single digit we need to show it as zero zero so we need to append one more zero here and one more problem is uh, it's showing the time but it's not running so we need a running clock okay so for that we need to use set interval method okay show time and thousand so what this method will do is it will call this show time function in uh, one second of interval okay let me refresh this page to 
okay now it's uh, the clock is running but the problem is it it's taking one second to show the time see so it is taking one second of time to show the time okay it is because it will call the function after the one second only so let me call this function here like this now it it will it avoids that problem okay so instead of doing like this we can do one more thing also instead of doing like this you just call this method like this show time and inside this method I'm going to add set timeout thousand seconds okay the difference between the set interval and set timeout method is set interval method will call the given method in a, a specified time okay so the set time method set timeout method will call the given specified method once the time's out okay okay let me check this now okay it's okay but we need to fix this okay let me fix this now okay I don't want to see the zero in hours so if uh, equal to zero set it as 12 okay I want to show the 12 hour clock so one more check is here if h is greater than 12 um, then we need to subtract by 12 okay to fix the single digit issue just we can do like this if h is less than 10 h equal to 0 plus h if m is less than 10 m equal to 0 plus m s equal to less than 10 s equal to 0 plus s okay so instead of writing these nine line of code lines of nine lines of code we can write like this h equal to h less than 10 0 sorry 0 plus h and h okay so it is like if else condition this is a condition and this will be your true part and this will be your false part again your condition this will be your true part and this will be your false part okay you can write like you can use any of these methods okay now we fixed both issues now check the time okay now we need to show the session okay I'm sorry session equal to am so we know if the hour is greater than 12 the session is pm okay so let me add this here okay perfect now it's showing the time now I'm going to add some CSS to make it better okay so first thing I want to do is I'm going to change the background color of this document okay in order to do that okay set the body background color to block 
okay to do these things you need some little knowledge in CSS and I'm going to add a class called clack now what I want to do is I want to show this time at the center of this page so in order to do that <coughs> position absolute and top 50 percentage left also 50 percentage I'm sorry for the typos and uh, transform translate x minus 50 percentage and translate y to minus 50 percentage now okay it's because we change the background color to black and the text color is also black so this is okay now I'm setting the text color to white what's happening let me find out what's wrong with this document okay so I'm sorry we need to add this class here okay now the time is aligned to the center of this page now I increase the font size to 80 pixel and uh, I add a border here on pixel solid some gray color and some padding to this okay top right down left okay I don't think the clock is lined on the center of the page okay something is wrong with this oh I'm sorry okay now it is aligned to the center okay. this is how you can create a digital clock using HTML and JavaScript little bit of CSS also so thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it please subscribe thank you